Hey Kelly, Darren here from Advantage Cars. Just doing the walk around video on the two Santa Fe's you're interested in. So the silver and the red one. Um, silver one obviously being diesel and the red one being petrol. Um, you said you do like petrol for kind of the power aspect of things. Um, definitely more torque and power in the diesel when it comes to the Santa Fe's. So um, yeah, I'll go, go around the exterior of both of them and then I'll show you kind of the interior condition as well. But uh, as you can see straight off the bat, they're both um, in really good condition. We only kind of buy really tidy cars. Um, they both have full service history stamped in the book, as well as two keys and all the owner's manual and everything with them. Um, and I believe that one definitely was a company vehicle, um, but I think they both were. Uh, one just doesn't say what company um, owned it. So yeah, um, we'll start with the silver one. So. As you can see straight off the bat, the body's in really good condition. No real dents or anything I can see standing over here. Hopefully the camera picks it up okay. Cool. Um, so brand new Goodyear tyres all around the car as well. Really good brand, um, really quite expensive too, so that's a plus. So yeah, they have the little red and yellow dot to indicate their new tyres. But yeah, paint works really nice on this one. Cool. Probably done open road Ks. There's a, a few kind of little stone chips that have been touched up with the um, same colour paint pen on this one. Same with a, a, a couple or a few on the bonnet here. But standing back, you cannot um, kind of tell or notice at all um, because it has been touched up with the same color code. But yeah, there's not, not, um, not too many of them. Cool. Coming over this side, same thing again. Really straight and tidy. And as you can see, um, Goodyear tires on on this side too. So all new tires all around. Cool. Hopefully the camera is picking it up okay, but uh, same condition on this side, really, really tidy. Cool. Yeah, quite, quite nice, the silver, if you're not really into coloured cars like red. Cool. So it has um, the rubber mat too. As well as the, I'll take this out so I can show you the seats. Looks like the seven seats haven't really been used. Probably due to it being a company vehicle. Cool. So all really tidy. I mean, there's a couple little scratches on the trim here, but if that's your only worry, you're doing pretty well. All the plastic inside there looks really good, which to me confirms that the seven seats weren't really used too often. Bit of scuffing just on the cup holder there, but up here is all, all nice and clean. Um, real cool, they have the individual aircon at the back here as well. So if you've got kids or anything, um, they can kind of adjust the AC as they please. Cool. Roof lining looks all good. Um, I'll just drop these back down and chuck that mat back in. And then I'll show you the back seats as well. Uh, forgot to mention, but this one has a tow bar as well. And it is the removable tongue, so you can actually take the tow bar off if you don't want it. But it's pretty good to keep on in case anyone kind of rear ends you. Or hey, if you back into anything or whatnot, protects the back of the car. Cool. Door cards look really tidy on this side. Same with the seats, no rips or tears or stains or anything. We're pretty picky when buying our cars. Um, slight scuffing on the back of the plastic there, but nothing too major. And I think that's just dirt over there. So, cars yet to be fully detailed and groomed, but you can kind of see how we get them. So, if they come in in this condition, you can just imagine what they kind of groom up to, so. Door card's all good. Same with that one. And seats are all nice and clean and tidy. No rips or tears once again. 
dash and steering wheel are all nice and in good condition. Same with the center console. Cool. Um, so as I was saying before, two keys with this one, including the kind of um, the ownership manual and everything. You've also got the service booklet here. So uh, full service history all the way through, as we normally see with all the cars we buy. So each interval has been done on time every time. All the way up until the current K is there. So fully serviced, well maintained, so you know it's going to last you a long time as long as you keep it serviced as well. And I think I said, yeah, two keys. So that's pretty much it for this one. Um, all in great running condition, obviously, too. We, we thoroughly test the cars, drive them and make sure there's no funny sounds or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I'll move on to the red one now and just basically do the same thing. So, same thing. No dents that I can really see um, on this side. Just looks like there is a little bit of scratching on the back here of the red one. Um, and then kind of some scratches down there too. Tow bar as well on this one with a removable tongue so you can take it out. Cool, so same thing, really tidy, besides the scratches at the back, which may even um, cut and polish out as well, so. A little bit of scratching on the, the bonnet here too, but I don't think it's been cut and polished yet, so odds are that will come out as it's just a very, very light scratch. Um, that's kind of just dirt, there may be a couple small little stone chips there if you can see that on the camera other than that all really tidy same with this side no dents that i can see or anything um bridgestone tires as well on this one tread feels really good yeah bridgestone's all around so they both have good branded tires couple like kind of scuffs on this one i definitely would say that the silver one's um in better condition cosmetically uh it's a lot tidier than the red one um and if you are wanting that power i would definitely go for the diesel but completely up to you cool cool yeah as i as i said before still yet to be groomed so all that will kind of come out and get shampooed. A little bit of scuffing on the plastic here. All pretty much tidy in the back, besides the groom. Still needs a groom, but hey, we definitely take care of that. Um, kind of bit of scratching on the plastic as well. Cool. Door cards look all good. Not sure what that tray's for, but must be uh, possibly under the back kind of tray. Um, seats look good on this one too. Same with that door card over there. Um, a little bit of scuffing on the, the plastic on the back of the seat, but nothing major. Cool. This door card looks all good. Same with the seats and everything. Cool. So I'd say the interior is pretty much the same across the two. It's just a bit of a cosmetic difference on the exterior. The silver one is a little bit tidier. Um, but then again, diesel, petrol. So that would be the toss up. Um, same thing with this one as well. It's got the full service history all the way through. Looks like it's always been done at a high Hyundai dealership, so right up until the current K is there, which is good. Um, owner's manual, two keys with this one too. 
but yeah that's pretty much all there is to cover um, if you have any other questions or want me to take any other kind of small videos or photos or anything of either one of the two um, let me know and I'll be happy to do that so yeah that's pretty much all Kelly um, as a part of the sale we definitely do a new off uh, we make sure the rego and rucks are up to date the road user charges and the cars get a full kind of day spent on them a full uh, interior groom and a full exterior cut polish um, deep clean and everything so they look really good once they are done but um, yeah that's about it as I said let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Cheers.